Hey everybody, my name is Brian Fleming with BuildingSocialProof.com and today in this video I am going to share with you a case study of my first Facebook ads campaign. And the overall goal of the campaign is to get email leads and build my email list for BuildingSocialProof.com at $1 per email subscriber, so that's the goal. My campaign was not to boost a Facebook post or try to make direct sales from Facebook. I've heard in general that's a really bad idea or just to get likes to my page. So I want to be really clear. My goal was to get leads for my business and that should be your goal too. Maybe you have a local business. You can do the same thing to get calls to your business to have people actually call you on the phone or maybe you want to build an email list like I'm doing to build an audience for your business. Throughout the campaign, I used the Facebook Power Editor. It's not that hard to use, and everyone says to use it if you read around the internet, so that's what I did. And here's the URL where you can go check out and use the Facebook Power Editor. I recommend you do that too. Now, here's a tip with the Power Editor. Editor. Remember, you have to download and then upload your video changes to Facebook, otherwise Facebook will never see your changes. So just remember that you have to use the download and upload button with the Power Editor. It's a little strange, but you'll get used to it pretty quick. Now, the first thing to do is to set up the campaign, and this is what the screen looks like. You just put in a, a campaign name. Now, I picked the buying type of auction, and I picked the objectives to have Facebook to try to get me cheap clicks to my website. That was a bad choice, and I'll show you why in a later video. I wanted to show you all the mistakes I made along the way, so you can learn from them as you see me blow my cash. I mean, why should you waste money like I am as I'm trying to learn Facebook ads? Hopefully, I can help you out and save you some money. So the next thing to do is find out who to target and in Facebook Power Editor they call that creating your ad set. So here are some ad targeting tips that I found after reading a lot of blog posts online. You could read all the blog posts yourself or just look at my tips here. Number one is to leave most people out of the party. You want to get very, very specific in who you're targeting with Facebook. It's very powerful and it can get specific on who you target. So you want to be very specific. Here are the base things that you want to start targeting. It's number one to target location. You don't want your ads showing all over the entire planet and if you don't tell Facebook specifically who you want to target, you will target the entire planet. So think long and hard about the location of where your ideal prospects live. Next is to target the language. If you're doing English ads, you don't want Spanish speaking people to see your ads, so make sure you pick English. Next is to think about the age group of your ideal customers and the gender of your ideal customers. Now I put a star next to these and said test. I wouldn't select these in the beginning because after you start running your ads, Facebook is going to automatically, in a report, dice these up for you and show you the best age groups and best gender to get cheaper ads. So I wouldn't start with those. Just know that you can target by them and we'll do it later. The big one you want to use is interests and behaviors. That's how you can really narrow down and target people. And the big tip is you really want to get your audience less than 200,000. If you have millions of people, you're too broad. Your, your, your ads aren't focused enough and they're just not going to work well for you. So picking fan pages of other businesses like your own works good for a lot of people. So I went that route. Now let's look at the campaigns I came up with. I wanted to compare two different audiences so I could see which one was cheaper. I mean one of them is going to be cheaper than the other. Then I could go find other audiences and compare against the cheapest one to find even cheaper audiences. I think you get the idea. Kind of an A-B test of different audiences. So here are two audiences I came up with. The number one audience I picked was Smart Passive Income with Pat Flynn. It's a podcast to show people how to make money online. It's a really good podcast and I figured a lot of people who want to start a business making money online probably need a social media strategy so I targeted these people. I picked English speaking, male only, ages 25 to 50 and I want them to be making some money over 50 grand a year so they could afford my products and services and I only wanted to target the US only. I didn't want to target um, the entire planet and I set the campaign at an affordable rate for me which is five dollars a day I'm just getting started I don't want to spend a hundred dollars a day on Facebook yet especially if it's not gonna work so I want to make sure it 
works first. Audience two uh, was for Social Media Examiner and um, it's the exact audience against Pat Flynn. So I'm literally comparing these two audiences. Both campaigns are mobile and desktop newsfeed only. I didn't pick the little ads that appear on the sidebar on the desktop because frankly, I don't think they're very effective. Uh, I've never personally clicked on one of those, so I wanted to get in the newsfeed, pay a premium, but get the results. Notice I set a total budget of only $10 a day. I picked two $5 campaigns and I'm testing them against each other. It's something that's affordable for me. And this will become crucial throughout the campaign. Um, I'll show you why later in the video. Next is creating your ad. And here are my ad creation tips. Images are the most important part of your Facebook ad. And the Facebook image size is 1200 by 628 pixels. That's good to know as you're putting your images together. And try to use images of people smiling and having a great time. Those tend to convert better. And pick images that stand out and are colorful and add text to your images. Those help them stand out and get more attention. Now, Facebook has a grid checker tool for your text to image ratio. They don't want your text being more than 20% of your image. So it's a really easy tool to use. You just upload your picture and it gives you some squares. You draw them around your text and it'll tell you the percentage if your ad will get approved or not. So if you're using text, that's a great resource that you need to be using. So here are the four ads I came up with and we can see they all are identical. Um, I did put the URL to building social proof above the picture because I also read that that will get you some clicks and just make the ad convert better. So I did do that, but it's just got some text at the top and you can see the four images are of attractive women. That's why I picked the male group um, with some text in there. And I, I basically want to see which image is going to perform the best. And then I'm going to use that image and then start tweaking the ad from there. So that's my strategy. And you can see what my ads look like. Finally, you need somewhere to send people after they click on your ad. And here's landing pages I came up with. On the left, you see the desktop view and on the right, the mobile view because I'm getting both mobile and desktop traffic and I'll show you that later. But the neat thing with this landing page I created is that it just has a sign in with Facebook button. Now, I know everybody's coming from Facebook, so they all have Facebook account. They just have to click the button to sign up. I figured with mobile, this would be a big win because having to type your email address into a mobile phone, I don't like doing it. It's kind of hard to do, but if I just have to click a button, sign in with Facebook, that's really not a lot of effort. And I also get their Facebook email address, which I think is a higher quality email address than what people would probably just type into a browser. So that's what my landing page looked like. Nothing fancy, but I think the Facebook ad sign in button will work good for me. So here are my results from week one. So I got the campaign started on a Friday and I ran it over the weekend. I spent $24. Now I wanted Facebook to find me cheap clicks and I don't know about you, but when I look at articles online, I see clicks for like 10 and 15 and 25 cents, not $2 and 15 cents. So I was really, really bummed out uh, Monday when I looked at what my campaign did over the weekend. I mean, six clicks at $2.15, I didn't even convert anybody. Uh, but if I did like one in five or one in six on my landing page, you're still talking $15, $20 per email lead. That's nowhere close to $1 per email lead where I'm trying to get. So this campaign at this point to me looks awful and I really just want to quit at it. I'm not seeing anything like the other case studies on Facebook. That's why I wanted to post this one so that if you start out and have these results, don't get too bummed out. I'm going through it too. And, um, I'm just going to start from there. So I also want to show you that 98.7% of my Facebook ads were mobile. So when you're setting up your Facebook ads, you want to think long and hard about how your site looks on a mobile phone because almost all your ads are going to be served mobile. So that's one takeaway I want you to get from this. Also, when you're creating your ads, make sure the Facebook ads look slightly different in mobile and just know that all your traffic is going to be mobile. So just start thinking in that mindset of mobile first. So here are some big takeaways and lessons I learned from my first week is set your budget ahead of time. 
Most people fail at Facebook ads because they quit too soon. And I'll tell you, if I didn't have a, a budget set ahead of time that I'm gonna spend $10 a day for at least a month and try this, I would have quit after the first weekend. I mean, to spend 25 bucks and not have a single result from it after you put in all the work to set up the ads is pretty disheartening and I probably would have just quit. Um, and that's what I said, I probably would have quit too if I didn't have a budget preset ahead of time. So think long and hard. If, if you can only do $5 a day, then just do $5 a day, but you have to think of something affordable you can start with. And stay tuned to the next video. Let's see if I can do some things to start getting these ad costs down and start trying to get my email subscriptions to get around a dollar, because right now they're nowhere close. I mean, I spent 25 bucks on this campaign and haven't even got a single opt-in. So I'm gonna make a next video. We're gonna look at what I did at week two to try to change this around and start getting better results. Talk to you again soon. Take care, bye-bye.